to the uh, Cape Royal track, which is going to be Cape number two for us, and also the second Cape today. So Cape Royal is 14 k's, and it should take us. It was a five hours return, wasn't it? Yeah. So we got back from this morning's hike at Cape Way. It was overcast and it even started to rain. The weather now is cleared right up and it's completely sunny. So fingers crossed there'll be something to work with for a sunset. We've got a jug full of tea boiled, plenty of sunscreen on. And we're just gonna dig in and add another couple of hundred thousand steps <laughs> for today. So we made it to the lookout in uh, pretty good time. We can see where we've got to go. Uh, it looks quite windy out there and the wind is very cold. So we're, we're both happy we bought two jackets each and a hot tea. The good news is the skies are still clear and it looks like there will be sun setting on the Cape itself. So fingers crossed we can find something out there. This little dump truck. I think he's standing on the back of it. <laughs> Does it have a horn? Crazy. I've just been informed my jacket is now covered in olive juice. It's not really covered though, is it? Thanks. It doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> no, there would be no acceptable solution. So, we made it to Cape Royal. Uh, this place is by far the scariest location that I've stood on the edge of. Um, <laughs> sorry, the wind is probably terrible you probably can't even hear me there's a cape down there all the way down there so my idea for a composition is really going to work here I think um, so what it is it's the cape half in shadow half in sunlight just like my face uh, with that setting sun Haley's got herself quite a picnic Hey, all set up. Look at my view too. It's really cool. that's Haley's view from the picnic site the plan is just to get down to that spot, set up, frame up, um, work out if I need to put any filters on because one side is going to be quite bright uh, and I'll probably put the polarizer on too because that blue ocean looks incredible. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So bear with me while I get down there. Got to take my sock off. All right, I think the tripod will be okay there. So, Haley and I have been a lot of places like uh, some pretty impressive places in Scotland, places like Horseshoe, uh, other mountainous areas and like lots of drop-offs and whatnot. This is by far, this takes the cake. This place is so scary. Just sitting up here, I feel like I'm gonna, oh, like the world's gonna fall from underneath me. 
So what I'm doing now is just carefully taking my time to set up the camera. I've got the tripod uh, perched very precariously and I'm just gonna pop on the polarizer just to take some of that glare off the water that's crashing onto the rocks as well as make that blue around the ocean a little bit deeper. Currently, I'm at I'm at 24 mil. I'm as wide as the, uh, the Tamron lens will go. I've got the ISA set to 100 and I'm on a one and a half stop bracket uh, because there is such a contrast between that wall that has sunlight on it and the one that's in shade. But I don't want to just put a graduated ND filter on it because I've got all the water around it as well, which really adds to it. So I think I'm gonna leave that in too. So I'm just focusing on the rocks in the foreground. Two second timer. Wait for the wind to go down. Easy. I think I'm done here. Um, happy with sort of how that looks and and the composition and whatnot. I, you know, it's it's cool. It's really cool. I just hope uh, I just hope I can get a good blend, especially with a stacked focus that I did. So um, for the stacked focus, I focused on the rocks right in front of me and then the cape itself in the background. That was all terrible. That was just mumbling rubbish, to be honest. See, so yeah, I got a little secret weapon. We might photograph that uh, that big bluff where the lookout was, look down. Um, so coming back up the hill, if the sun's setting at that time, then it might be really nice with the clouds on it and the sun in the background. So yeah, leaving early is gonna have its benefits. So cool. <laughs> There's just nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So there could be a sunset on here, but I may also miss it because we've probably got half an hour to 45 minutes. So if there's enough light, it'll be perfect. There's a massive cloud sitting above that, about, above that bluff. So it should catch that light perfectly. So we're on a mission now. Get there quick enough. There's all that cloud I was talking about. Come on, honey. I think we're gonna miss it. We're not gonna be able to get out. I don't know, it's just on the other side of there. We got maybe, we're in five minutes. This is gonna be the speed setup of all speed setups. So I've just gone with the long lens and pretty much we're gonna make it back to the cliff. So what I'm gonna do instead is take a photo with the long lens of that bluff and hopefully those clouds will light up above it. So pretty much you can see the color behind me already. So. Pretty much what we're just gonna wait for is just some color to uh, form up over these, over this range. Uh, I'm quite zoomed in. I'm at 100 mil. I'm at, uh, what is it? F9 at 100, ISO 100. And that should be, fingers crossed, the recipe or the ingredients for a nice composition. So um, I've just taken the hood off the long lens because it is quite windy here still and I don't want any camera shake 
Um, so if I can reduce the camera shake as much as possible, that'll be perfect. So we're just waiting now for the sky to light up. It's lighting up this side. So hopefully, come on down. We want a good light. Oh, you should see it behind me, it's incredible. It's just incredible. More cliffs behind me. So we were out shooting up over the other side of there before. Sorry, I know this is really rushed and it might feel all over the shop, but uh, I was definitely, definitely, definitely happy just to get the one photo from Cape Rail. But when we saw that setting sun, clouds over the top of the bluff, just had to come, just had to come. You probably can't even hear this, it's probably too much wind. The one problem is, is that I can't see the horizon. I don't know what's happening with the sunlight. So I've just got to wait and be patient. So another thing that I've just done is I've just zoomed in to 10 times and uh, the camera is shaking. Even on the sturdy tripod, the camera is still shaking. So what I'm gonna do when I go to take the photos, I'll keep it on the two second timer, make sure I'm well away from it. I'll open up my jacket and I'll try and cover it up if this light happens, which I don't think it will. Oh no, it's not gonna happen maybe. <laughs> Cloud that was pink before is pink no more. I'll try and call Haley. I have no service to call Haley. It's a real shame because that composition I think would have been really nice if that sky had behaved and done what I wanted to. But because I can't see what's happening on the horizon and I've got no way of calling Haley, I'm just going to give it just a few more minutes. A few more minutes to see if something develops. Um, it doesn't develop, it doesn't develop. These things happen. That's it. I think it's going to happen. Time to pack up, time to catch up to Haley. So the uh, cloud didn't develop how I was hoping it would. And now that I'm at the cliff, I can see that um, there was a lot more cloud on those mountains. So it's all good. These things happen. At least I was uh, making the effort, I guess. I still took the image because uh, I think there's still a lot to learn from it as well for me personally. I only took really one composition down at uh, Cape Raoul, but it's what I was there for and it was such a great experience too. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, the usual stuff, give me a like, hit subscribe. If you wanna see these images, they're on Instagram. That's two capes down, one to go. So we did Cape Way, Cape Raoul, and Cape Pillar is the next one. But yeah, until next time guys, cheers, and thanks for watching. <laughs>